Welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would make a clock for the kitchen, a kitchen clock for the wall in the um, kitchen, obviously. Um, I'm going to use um, a button as the um, frame of the clock. I've printed out some clock pictures and I'm going to use some dimensional magic Mod Podge to make it sort of... Um, like a oval type thing once it's glued on i'll probably sand this down to make it a bit rough to make the paint stick i want to make it gold i think uh, anyway we're going to cut these clocks out and see what i um which ones we're going to use all right i am silly i put it on time lapse as i cut it out and i actually forgot to press play I've decided and I, I really like these clock faces. This one's a tad too small and that one's a little bit big. So I need to make the size in between those. This um, this one also looks quite, quite good inside it as well. So I'm going to print out another clock face uh, like this one here, but in between the two sizes. I'll be back in a minute. So that size looks good. I'm pleased with that. I think that will look nice. It's a 1960s vintage clock picture, so um, oh, I'm going to put that one in there. Now I've got some paints. I've got anti-gold or metallic titanium gold or um, metallic silver. don't want silver. I think I'm going to go for the titanium gold. So I'm going to get some greaseproof paper. I'm going to lightly sand that and I'm going to paint it. Right, I'm not sure how successful this will be because I think I probably should have done some kind of Mod Podge base coat first for it to stick on. I'm not sure. Um, I used, I decided I preferred the titanium gold the lighter color but then I, I ended up putting it, it was it wasn't covering it so I'm doing the metallic bronze first and then hopefully I'll go over in the um, gold but I'm not sure how well it's going to work so I'm going to leave it to dry and I'll come back later I'm going to cover my paint so I can still use it a bit later on and uh, yeah hopefully it will it will take we'll see Right, while the paint's drying, I'm going to work on the other thing I want to make, which is a swallow's nest, because the house is called Swallow's Rest. And I've got some images of um, swallow's nests. I've got some terracotta clay, and I've got some grassy hay stuff from the garden. And I'm going to use that to try and make it. So I'm going to put it on time lapse as it'll be easier to do. weird i thought i was videoing it and my phone went off um i'm not sure how successful this is going to be but this is what i've got so far um, i'm going to see if oh, i'm going to let it dry and then um see if it works it's sort of like some of the ones i've seen pictures of and it'll go up under the eaves and then the, i've got to try and make a little swallow that will sit in top haha <laughs> Uh, if the swallow is anywhere as good as my nest, you're not going to recognise what it is. So, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Right, I'm back to my painting. The first coat is dry, so I'm going to paint another coat and then leave it to dry again. And then hopefully I'll be ready to get it stuck on. Right, so my little nest is hardened. And I made a little bird. I did try videoing it, but it didn't come out. I've got to decide whether to paint them or not. But the bird will sit in the nest like that and it will go on the wall. So uh, that's those two things. And then my clock is ready to stick in. So 
so I'm going to stick that in and then try this Mod Podge Dimensional Magic Resin stuff and see how that goes. Hopefully this time it will be in video because a lot of my footage that I videoed when I was painting it, I realised because I was holding it closer to see what I was doing, I missed videoing it. So we're going to put it on time lapse and see how we get on. Okay, so I've applied that. Uh, it takes three hours to dry, dry apparently. So I'm going to leave that now and then hopefully once it's ready, I'll have a little clock to put on the kitchen. Right, I've got my little clock face made. What I'd probably have done differently was to put an extra piece of um, paper or board down underneath the clock face because I've realised you can actually, you may not be able to in there, but you can see the um, four button holes on the back. Um, so I should have put a bit of paper down. So if ever I make another one, that's what I'll do first. But I think for now, I think that will probably do. And we're going to place it in the doll's house. And uh, I might... I just can't decide whether to paint that or not. Um, but I might sort of see what it looks like on the doll's house anyway, with a little bird stuck inside. It's uh, not very colourful, but he probably does need painting. So we'll put the clock up anyway. Question is, where do I place it? Do I place it above there in that little corner, or do I place it above the stove? I mean, it's not really going to be seen if I place it above the stove, but hmm, I'm not sure. I'll have a think. Right, well, I placed it over there because I wanted to be able to see it when I look in, and you can't always see it when it's above the stove. I may change it again later, but for now, it's there, and I haven't done anything else to it yet. I still need lots of little accessories and things in the kitchen, but one step at a time. Okay, I went to the works today and I've got myself a set of brushes that I'm going to use specifically for my doll's house stuff because my other two are actually part of my um, art when I do proper painting. So I can now put them aside and I've got a set to use specifically for my doll's housing. I've got a selection of paints out um, so I can make some, do some mixing. I've got the browns as well. Um, so I can do some mixing to paint the nest and also the little bird. bird's nest it's uh, very amateurish but I think it will do and I've even finished my little bird and the little bird is going to sit in like that and I'm going to go and put it on the house and show you and there we have the little swallow in her nest at swallow's rest so it's it's very amateurish it's my first attempt but I'm quite pleased with it I'm not a clay modeler by any means all i've done before is a little bit of food for wren so um yeah i think that works so so we have the little bird's nest on swallow's rest and i've i've attached it with uh tacky wax i know in the us they use um museum wax but i don't think we can get that here and it seems that most dolls house people use tacky wax and there's my little swallow and the dogs are barking wonderful anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching and um, feel free to leave a comment and we'll catch you another time bye <laughs>